Mm. What up, 151 squad? Zard Hunters, fellow poke enthusiasts, elite geeks, and nerds alike. Another day in development at Studio 151, so thanks for coming to uh, check out the vlog or whatever you want to call these little segments right here. Just gonna give you guys an update as to what we got going on today because literally there is 151 things. There's literally 151 plus things to do every day here. So, first things first. Big shout out to Cryptic TCG, the Roland Tanner, and the whole squad over there. If you guys haven't heard of uh, Cryptic, you most certainly will, but my, uh, my Cryptic care package, I guess we'll call it, showed up and uh, absolutely stoked about it. So we're gonna be opening this up soon, doing this proper justice, if you will. A little secret message right here. Mm -hmm. uh, doing a proper uh, proper unboxing for this to say the least. So, dude, shout out to the Roland. Thank you kindly for real. It's not like a shit ton. I'm excited about this. Uh, like I said, stay updated for more uh, cryptic information. So. We always have a giant shit list for the most part of things to accomplish and things to do at the studio. Today I gotta move a lot of wood from uh, the back area into our storage downstairs right there. We also have to run over to Home Depot and Rona. I gotta pick up some more lumber for the project that we're working in the back room on that back wall right there. I've gotta rip a board for the rest of uh, the slat wall shelving that we're building right here or in this room and then still building this room as well too. Additionally, I have to drill a bunch of holes in the bottom of this cabinet right here uh, to do similar work like I did for these cabinets right here with the lighting underneath of it. So we gotta crush that out today. I threw my list and now I don't know what the fuck else I'm supposed to do. Um, let's see. Ah, yes, the wall behind me. I have to, uh, I have to get that done today or at least as much as I possibly can. I'm gonna prioritize getting the wall polyurethane today over finalizing that back wall right there because I want out here done and then we can move back in here to finalize everything out there. I think that's pretty much it. We got some more stuff to bring into the shop as far as like uh, merchandise goes because I really want to hone in on how much space I actually have on all of these back walls here in all of the cabinets. And we're also sourcing today, we want to check out another cabinet for right here because I want a little bit more retail space as far as singles and stuff like that goes. So like I said, guys, always 151 things to do here, but this place is coming along. We are crushing through it daily, obviously, making content is time consuming as well too. So we're just trying to balance everything uh, as best as we possibly can. But lots and lots and lots to do still uh, approaching our soft opening launch according to the watch that I'm not wearing relatively soon. Honestly, I think next two, three weeks in and around there. So if you guys are local to the area, you see this open sign on once everything's done, pop on in. Once a grand opening is actually happening, I'm going to be extending invitations uh, for a private event alongside the actual grand opening event to, uh, to a lot of different people, content creators and people locally. And if you get one, come out. And if you can, awesome. If you can't, that's okay as well too. We'll be open for hopefully, hopefully a little while, right? Hopefully, a, hopefully at least a, a month or two, you know what I'm saying? We've got a lot of work to do and we want to get that done. So join us on another day in development at Studio 151 and uh, let's see what we can get accomplished today, shall we? Aside from drinking a shit ton of coffee, that's that's a given. Also, www.trainertrade.com, order a bunch of Zard Hunter merch because it helps the studio Snorlax size shit done. Plus you'll look like a Pokemon fanatic. All right, let's go and get some things. Friendos, back at the giant orange building known as Home Depot, where I'm gonna go pay a ridiculous amount of money for some wood. So, go grab some wood, go and get that ripped up of Rona, and then uh, drill some more lights for some cabinets, and God only knows what else. So, let's go and get it. Put my coffee back in my car. One more sip. Wood I all blocked off right now? Yeah, it's just blocked out for a few minutes. They uh, have to do it. Okay, all right, cool. It'll just be like five minutes. All right, all right, so the wood aisle is blocked off for the next five minutes, so we're gonna wander around aimlessly. Not aimlessly, I'm gonna see if there's other things that I could uh, use here. So of course, the wood we actually needed when we're waiting for wood is over here and not where we had to wait for it, so. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up a uh, two by four as well too, and then uh, we get to go to finish that back wall. fish for some good ones. Scooping up another two by four to finish off the uh, support for that back wall. This one's not great. That was a little bit better. Let's try one more. Way better. Secured, let's get it. Spending endless amounts of money on wood. Where's the wild Sudowoodo to cut down when you need them? All right, let's load this up. Head back to Studio 151 and see what the rest of today's adventure, vlog, whatever you want to call it, entails. I should probably buy a truck, is what I should probably do, you know? Keep buying Audis instead of a vehicle I can use. Boom, and now we have 
wood in the car and a brand new armrest to utilize right here. Just have this permanently installed. I literally just had to stop because I put my coffee on top of my car and loaded my lumber into here. Had a white t-shirt guy's coffee on top of the car and then just drove away and now I have to go get another coffee. So I'm gonna stop at Tim Hortons and I'm gonna grab a coffee that I'm not gonna put on the roof of my car and forget. Now we can go, we're back. We're gonna grab uh, the wood that we just picked up from Home Depot, I'm gonna bring it inside the shop real quick, and I'm gonna grab the piece that I already have in there for the shelving, or bring it over to uh, Rona. We're gonna rip that thing on the saw in there because we won't do it at Home Depot for safety reasons. Which I guess is understandable, safety first, right? Dropping this off, just like that. And I'm gonna grab this piece right here, because this is the one that I'm gonna get ripped for the shelving at, uh, at Rona. We'll take this one with us on a trip. All right, we're good to go. Actually, I had to buy a kick plate for one of the two by fours that we're putting up as a support beam in the back there. And of course, cheers, bro. Appreciate it. Okay, thanks. Have a good day. I was wondering where you were. Great success on the cut. It's really cool because the pieces, uh, the excess pieces that actually get cut off for these uh, eight inch shelves right here, they work out as perfect pieces of trim for stuff like this, uh, for stuff like underlifting on the counter right here and all tied together really well. So I'm really glad about how that worked out. So we got another piece that we can utilize. Cool, so that, other than the dust, uh, is good. And that finalizes the uh, last long shelf that we need for that cabinet right here. Trusty Zard orange rag and give it a cool, quick wipe down because it's dusty AF and we got enough of that in here already. Shelf successfully cut. Now we can actually get to work, which we're gonna do. Cue some B-roll momentarily, but before that, more importantly than work. Mm. Let's get to cracking Evolving Skies. This feels crazy to be opening a pack behind this counter right now. Absolutely insane. We've got Ice Cube, full face guard, Hypno, Eevee, Tim Pole, come on, RCS Bless, Q to Fly, Applin, Sableye, Reverse All Love, Boost Shake, and... Oh my god, no way! Pre-sleeved Evolution VMAX cards. Wow, thanks Evolving Skies. That was definitely not staged with the magic of cinematography at all whatsoever. Just to, just to check something out. Shout out to my fellow uh, cryptic citizens. We're just gonna see right here real quick. Should have an actual blade on me. There we go. Get this bad boy ripped open right here. Just to see what uh, you know what this looks like behind the counter. Oh, come on, man. Yo, first impression is everything. And yo, check this out right here, bro. Oh, just make mention of that. We're gonna do a proper unboxing of this bad boy for sure. But I want to get it out of the bag and just kind of see what cryptic looks like up on the shelf. So let's uh, let's do that, shall we? 66 riddle box right here from the Brolin Tanner, the team over at Cryptic TCG. Looking forward to having more Cryptic TCG on here. Having some more citizens in here, rocking this game and learning how to play. So like I said, we'll be doing a proper unboxing. There's some more goodies inside of here. Looking forward to uh, reading this as well. You know what? There's one more thing in this box and we might as well get it open if we're getting some dope B-roll shots for the meantime before we actually unbox this stuff. So. Let's see what's in this uh, mystery black envelope. I'm thinking it might be some starter decks, but I'm not entirely certain. And bomb, it most certainly is. LGS 2022 test deck, human and mystic for cryptic TCG right there. So that's the first one. And then secondly, coming out of this bad boy. Damn, bro. Woo! I am absolutely excited for these. That is sick. So that's uh, the Ascendant and the Undead LGS 2022 test deck right there. So collectively, two uh, test starter decks from uh, the Cryptic TCG, man. Human and Mystic, Ascendant and Undead, and they're the LGS specific 2022 test decks. That's some, that's some spice right there. Before we get into B-roll, can't get the Zard on her shirt dirty, so we're gonna switch into some uh, Canadian workwear. Much better. Next order of business, we gotta get rid of this giant pile of scrap, crap wood, or at least clean it up, move it somewhere else, so. 
perfect. Wood all cleaned up. Now I can finish this back wall right here and move back up to the front area so I can all urethane or black stain that black brick wall back there. Let's get it. Squad. As you can see, we got uh, this back wall almost complete right here. I had to prioritize today getting that front uh, wall out there painted or polyurethane and stained black because we really want to get the front area complete. And then we can shift back here to finish off all the construction and stuff that still needs to be done. But yeah, we got this uh, pretty much finished. I need a couple more pieces of this same board right here. And then we're going to polyurethane and stain this to keep it consistent with that one. I'm still going to tie it together up the wall a little bit. Like I said, this really ties this area in together. We're going to be able to utilize this as kind of like a backsplash for some more retail merchandise where we can put some shelves and stuff like that on. Hang a 151 light on here. So hopefully we can finish this off by tomorrow, but we'll see how it goes. So right now we're just prioritizing completing everything in the front so we can start bringing in some more of the like actual merchandise and the more of the product and stuff like that because we got to really start focusing on uh, what space we can utilize for what product. So all the rest of the construction realistically is only to be completed out here and uh, we'll get all this done and bring in the rest of the counters and displays and all that kind of stuff out front. So we'll go up front and uh, we'll check out the brick. Let's go see. All right, so I'm absolutely beat tired, but we did crush a lot of stuff today. A lot of objectives crossed off the list, which is exactly what I wanted to do. But primarily, I wanted to get this back wall at least started with like its first coat. Still have the panel wall here to uh, paint as well, but this I think looks absolutely awesome. I'm so happy with how it turned out. You guys voted. I asked you guys on IG if you want to keep a, you know, a natural brick or keep it consistent with the theme of the business out front and on our business cards and everything. And uh, everybody voted to paint it black. I painted it black. We got it rocked out today, and uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's uh, it's going to turn out super awesome. Especially once we put uh, a little bit of a touch-up secondary coat on. All in all, as far as today goes, I'm super happy with how this turned out, and this was kind of like the primary objective to get completed and checked off the list today. Did have to use like really small two-inch polyurethane brushes, so it was super time-consuming, but. We did this test strip piece right here, like you've seen in the previous vlog video. That made it justifiable enough of an example for me to want to full send on this. We did just that. We got the lights installed underneath that counter over there today. Got some more product in to test on the shelves as well too, to see what it looks like. Got that piece built back up there. Got some more shelving up today. We have our business cards ordered now. We've got uh, Shopify getting ready to rock. We got our phone set up. So lots of stuff checked off the list today. And although we did get a significant amount of stuff done, there is, Still, still a lot of stuff uh, that we gotta get done. With that said, guys, we're gonna keep these vlogs coming as best as we possibly can, as fast as we possibly can, keep it consistent for you guys so you guys can follow us along on the journey to Studio 151. Because it's been uh it's been a long one thus far and uh, still a long one to go. But definitely super excited as we're approaching uh, the opening date relatively soon. So appreciate you guys support seriously so much, man. It's not size shit ton, as I always always say. You guys train on, game on, stay epic, stay awesome. And I'll most certainly catch you on the next one. Anime Peace sign.